all right, my car has been sitting in the garage for a couple days and I came to start the car. It wouldn't start, lights would come on. It wouldn't crank at all. Uh, but also I didn't notice initially when I was starting the car if the lights were dimming. If the car, uh, if the lights are dimming, then I know 100%, I knew that 100% it would have been battery. But um, here's what happened and here's what I did. So I had a voltmeter um, and very, very first thing before I even tried to ask somebody to jump the car, I measured the voltage of my battery in my car. So basically open the hood, uh, measured it um, on a DC volt here, and it was giving me 10.5 volts, which is very low to start the car. So if you have a dead car and it just lights barely come on and it doesn't crank, check the voltage of the battery, okay? And after checking the voltage of the battery, I knew that my basically battery was drained or it was bad, I didn't know at the moment. I basically asked someone in the garage to give me a jump. I basically hooked up the uh, jumper cables, uh, the other car was running, and I started to turn on the car. It wouldn't crank as well. After that, um, I thought, okay, so maybe something else was wrong. And then after waiting for a few moments, I stopped another car because in the first car that gave me a jump start, it had a smaller battery than my car. And because to start a car, when your car is completely drained, you need to have certain amount of crank amps in a battery. So I asked another car to jump and instead of jumping it right away, we basically um, gave it for about like six, seven minutes to charge the battery and after charging the battery, I started the car and it did start. And after starting the car, I knew 100% that the, my battery was bad. And I took it to the shop just to test it out, what's wrong with the car uh, battery. And my battery was like six, seven years old. So it was time to change. And after changing the battery, it doesn't drain. It just starts just fine, even after sitting for five, six days. So if that happens to you, very first step, I would uh, say just measure the voltage. If you have anything below 11.9, I wouldn't say 11.8, uh, just take your battery to O'Reilly or Auto, uh, AutoZone. They will test it for you and they will charge it for you. And even after that, if your car doesn't start, you know 100% that it's not a battery issue and you can just proceed further. But in most cases, uh, if your car doesn't start uh, and lights come on and it just doesn't crank, it's most likely the battery. So that's what happened in my case. I hope it helped to somebody, but thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.